I don't know what is going to happen to us. Our future is uncertain. Our house is now gone. They took it and put it under their name. They wrote Islamic State on it. Now what? The terror group ISIS in Iraq uh, gave an ultimatum, 72 hours for Christians to get out, uh, among others. And here is uh, Human Rights Watch Middle East director uh, saying ISIS is carrying out a vicious campaign against minorities in and around Mosul. Being a Turkmen, a Shabak, a Yazidi, or a Christian in ISIS territory can cost you your livelihood, your liberty, liberty, or even your life. We're back with the panel. Um, Charles, what about this? Look, this is a tragedy happening all across the Middle East. Uh, Christians have been under pressure in Lebanon. Their population is way down. In Egypt, the cops have been attacked for years now. This is now the worst instance of this. But this reveals the essence of jihadism. You know, isolationists here in the U.S., started with, say, Ron Paul, among others, would say, well, 9-11 was a result of the stuff we did to offend, to oppress whatever Muslims around the world, at least in part. It was a retaliation. Now you look at what ISIS is doing. What was the crime of the Christians against ISIS? None. This is the purest ethnic cleansing. This is the pure essence of the intolerance and the barbarism of this kind of Islamic radicalism. We know a, a week before, a month before 9-11, the Taliban went into the desert and destroyed 1,400-year-old magnificent statues of the Buddha. Were the Buddhists oppressing the Muslims in Afghanistan? No. This is the hatred of the other, the total exclusive. This is stuff Europe hasn't seen in 400 years. This is the medieval, you know, killing of one sect of another. And it is the essence of Islamic jihadism. You see it here in the purest way. You see it with Hamas. It wants to wipe out the Jews. You see it in Egypt with the cops. You see Boko Haram with the attack on the churches in Nigeria. It's all over. This is not about what the West has done. This is not about imperialism. This is not a payback. This is the expression of jihadism, and we see it tonight in the most horrible form. Ethnic 